As a child of undocumented and Vietnamese refugee parents, I have lived experience as a target for America's unjust social, education, and economic system. I was raised in a small Northern California town populated by minorities who were overwhelmingly affected by drugs and street violence. When selecting college, my 17-year-old self strived to select a location that served as an antithesis to the environment I grew up in. With San Diego's radiant sun and gleaming ocean water, it became far too easy for me to glamorize the illusion of paradise that San Diego eludes. With my two years of residence in San Diego, I've come to see the side of San Diego that both tourists and locals typically never get to see. One with the plethora of flaws masked by romanticized notions as the greatest city in the nation. Through SCJ, I've come to love San Diego, not for its illusion of paradise, but for its opportunity for progressive change. SCJ has motivated me, motivated me to embrace our need for change, rather than walk away from it as my 17-year-old self did. SCJ was much more than a six-week summer program. It was a once-in-a-lifetime transformative experience that led me to revisit my sense of purpose and belonging. This program has introduced me to the tools and insight needed to thrive in the progressive movement. I've come to the understanding that as a change agent, I cannot wait for this abstract concept of higher ups to make changes for the community. The community itself is on the forefront of the issues and therefore should be on the forefront of the solutions. We are the community and the community is us. The changes we need to see at the local level are urgent and their urgency has ever been more clear to me than it has been in these past six weeks as an SCJ fellow. I have SCJ largely to thank for igniting this fire in me. This fellowship has shown me that it is necessary to engage not only in the dialogue, but the decision-making process. When working towards liberation, small steps are necessary. My first step was this program. I do not view activism as a sad activity I do on my spare time, but rather a practice that needs to be exercised on a daily basis. Activism is something I will dedicate my life to. This program showed me just how strong we are and how strong we can be. Our movements are not mutually exclusive. The fight towards economic justice, environmental justice, against Islamophobia and racism are all heavily interconnected. For the issue in these movements, all have similar root causes. We need collective action and shared prosperity. Thank you to my phenomenal cohort, Tyler, Asma, Jeff, Daniel, Crystal, April, this experience would have not been the same without you. Please take note of them because you will see their names again and again. To all of my new friends and allies, I'm honored to serve this community alongside you as we strive toward a more prog progressive San Diego. It has been a privilege to share this journey of growth and enlightenment with you. On behalf of the cohort, I would like to thank our two fearless leaders, Trin and Anna Laura, for making this possible. Where are my two ladies? appreciation, our cohort has put together something for you all to remember us by. It's a picture frame of the only picture we have all together, all signed by members of the cohort. We will continue to make you proud. My final thank you goes to every single person in this room our allies, family, friends, and loved ones. It is through your support and encouragement and love that we are able to persevere in this endless fight for justice. I will leave you to these final words of Margaret Mead. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. Thank you.